so I'm gonna start the video with the tour of the hotel that I am staying at here in a city called Ubud in Bali and it's a little bit uh, different from the hotels that I usually stay at it's very very interesting and let me show you the the room right here and it's only 28 US dollars per night which is uh, very cheap I think given the uh, the location of the uh, of the hotel is in the middle of the in the heart of uh, Obud city right here and this is the uh, shower right here nice uh, everything is good it has the TV and uh, EC no complaint gonna start my tour an official tour in this beautiful city called Obud it's in the middle of Bali is the cultural center I think and um, my hotel offers breakfast but I did not choose to eat there because I had to make a reservation the day before and I forgot to do that but there is no shortage of other options as far as uh, breakfast and I'm just gonna start the, the video from here to give you an idea of how the uh, the narrow streets are here in uh, Ubud and it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming a little bit uh, noisy once I get to the main street because I am on my way to um, a palace called Obud and then a market I'm gonna go to visit the market and also there is something called the monkey forest and I think that is the focus for for today and there will be more uh, videos of Obud of course and this is another another hotel they look so uh, very very nice uh, but it's a little bit different if you are used to uh, the traditional hotels then this might be a little bit different if you're not used to these kind of hotels see pretty much almost everybody has a motorcycle and uh, scooters here because the traffic is horrible here and I was planning to eat breakfast here but unfortunately it's closed the lady told me it opens at 9 o'clock in the morning but now it's already 10 o'clock but we will uh, we will see if we have other options and the dogs are everywhere here a 
All right, I found the breakfast, the place right here. Give you an idea of how the prices look like. I just had uh, breakfast for about four US dollars. Surprisingly enough, the breakfast at the hotel is actually cheaper. So definitely, I will eat uh, at the hotel tomorrow. So now I'm gonna enter the busy street, the main street where all the, a lot of things are happening there, more lively. Just, it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming. And this is very common here in um, in Bali in general. And um, I am on my way now to a palace called Ubud Palace. And that is uh, not that far away from where I am uh, walking. Probably if you get to Ubud in Bali most likely you will walk down the street 100% sure because this one takes you to the most um, famous palace in Bali and then from the palace I have another hello I have another um, place to visit and that is the Ubud market wow it's really it's really happening here it's uh, more lively and I walked down here last night and it was uh, it was really uh, big mess I don't know how people handle this traffic on daily basis when they get to work or when they go to work and that's why they prefer the scooters that's the uh, preferred method of transportation and even if you if you use uber uh, they call it grab here grab app not uber you can rent uh, a scooter guy uh, uh, ride motorcycle ride and that's gonna be actually is gonna take you to your destination quicker yeah see yesterday I spent almost half an hour looking for a bank ATM to withdraw cash excuse me to withdraw cash because I don't like to use those uh, ATMs that are on the street the uh, for example I don't like to use uh, like that ATM I'm not sure I'm not sure where the, it's even uh, located somewhere actually actually if it's a bank if this is a bank then it's it's good what I'm trying to say is that uh, I always use an ATM that is inside a bank building because it's more secure than safe but I don't like to use the ATMs that are located outside the bank building because you don't know what they put in the machine the ATM machine to clone your uh, your ATM card And that's why I 
I spent almost a half an hour looking for a bank that has an ATM. Yeah, you, if you uh, eat in one of those uh, places, of course, it's gonna cost you more. But even if it's expensive, it's the, it's, uh, the meals here don't go over 10 US dollars maximum based on my experience so far I think we're getting closer to the to the palace maybe this is the palace yeah I think I think this is the palace but I'm not quite sure if it's uh, free to go inside or not because it is still used by the royal family some sections of it are still used by the Balinese royal family. That is another beautiful uh, street right there. After this palace, I'm gonna walk down the street, the market street, and then I'll go to the monkey forest. But let's uh, check out this palace first. Okay, it looks like it's free to enter. Or maybe that guy will ask me for a ticket now. I don't know. We will see. Let's walk and then see if he's gonna say, hey, ticket. Ticket? To visit, no, free. Oh, free? This is for the performance. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, they speak uh, good English. I cannot go in. Oh, okay. Just from outside? Yeah. Okay. Alright, then... Uh, here we go. This is the... Uh, where I'm supposed to... to enter. They speak... Uh, clear English. And that is a big relief for my brain. I don't have to struggle. I was in Japan and South Korea and I had a really hard time start, uh, communicating with the, with the uh, locals in Japan and South Korea but here I don't see a problem so far let's keep walking uh, down right there I am trying to go to a beautiful temple here called Sarawasti Temple. I don't think this is the entrance, but I can capture nice for footage of the fence I think it's called Saraswati temple I mispronounced it a few minutes ago
no wonder why it took me the uh, taxi driver took about uh, took him about two hours to get from the airport to Ubud yesterday I think this is the entrance of the uh, of the temple. There we go. Maybe this is the entrance. But it looks to me it's like a nice uh, market. Or maybe this is the uh, the temple right there, the one I'm looking at, along with the uh, with the local market right there. <laughs> So uh, the airport is not that uh, close to Ubud. So if you're trying to go to the airport or get to Ubud from the airport, allow at least two hours. Even though the distance is not uh, that uh, big, it's but the, uh, the traffic is the one that's gonna slow you down. Yeah, the temple actually, I already uh, walked along the temple, the one that I just saw earlier. And for some reason, I, I don't know how to get there. It's blocked. It was, it was that way. But the, uh, the main objective of coming to this area is to actually walk through the, the streets of, uh, of this beautiful town. I'm not quite sure if I am even allowed to go inside or not. But my curiosity is getting the better of me. Let's see. Yeah, this is a private... Uh, maybe it's a, it's, it's a guest house. So... Uh, here we go. This is the exchange. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, maybe later. Thank you. Yeah, they want to. The uh, it's a big rip off. To be quite honest with you, the exchange rate is stupidly uh, high, and uh, I never use those surfaces. I use my uh, ATM debit card from. Uh, from a bank in the United States and that bank uh, does not charge me any international fees and they give me all the uh, fees reimbursed at the end of the month if the local ATM charges me a fee to withdraw cash my bank gives me that money back which is really nice of them it's very nice uh, good bank to have if you are if you're traveling outside the US see Ubud art market is actually the other way the other way not this one so I'm walking toward the wrong direction but I like what I see so far. I'm just gonna explore randomly. But the itinerary for today is, like I mentioned before, the list is Ubud Palace. Next is the temple, the one that is located next to it, next to the palace. And then uh, Ubud Art Market. And, the, uh, and then the Monkey Forest. And anything in between those sites will be a uh, random exploring that is not planned at all such as this walk is not planned at all and everything I say in this video anyway is unscripted I don't follow any script and look at this what is this now I want to make sure if I am even allowed to to go inside those buildings when I see the gate is open 
I don't want to trespass or anything like that, but let's 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 ask those people. What is this hotel? Hello. Hello, is this a hotel or a guest house? No. What is this? A private house. Huh? Private house. Oh private house, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. You see? Okay, it's private house. You see? I don't know, but I think they should have uh, some kind of uh, a sign out, outside that says this is a private house, but I don't see anything. I see that they're selling something and then it makes it look like it's a tourist place to visit. Now this is what? This is another uh, down the rabbit hole. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is now a restaurant. This seems to be a cafeteria, I guess. What a beautiful place to sit down afternoon, grab a cup of coffee and sit, or grab your laptop and do some work here if, it, uh, if they have good Wi-Fi. And it's a little bit far from the uh, traffic noise as well. So random exploring of Ubud. And here is a motorcycle. Bali in general is huge place, huge island. So it is an island. Bali, the whole Bali is an, an island. And I chose to stay in Ubud because it's in the middle and it's also the cultural center of uh, <coughs> Bali. Away from the beaches, but in about two weeks, in about two weeks, I will get to the beach town. I will move to a city. I think they call it Semenyak or something like that. That is close to the to the beach town. And this is the uh, famous uh, convenience store right here. They take a Visa and MasterCard, but for some reason they don't accept American Express. Okay. Yeah. What is that uh, language? How are you? Good, good? Nice. Nice? What's your name? Kutu. 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 Nice to see you, Kutu. Yes, of course. No. Hi. The, uh, I'm not quite sure what language they speak here, Balinese or Indonesian. They have uh, different languages. Do not assume that uh, they speak the same language in Indonesia. Some parts of Indonesia speak different language. And now what is this? Wow, now I'm in the middle of... Uh, in the middle of uh, somewhere that does not seem to be crowded with, uh, with tourists. And this is what I like. I like to be away from the tourists. Maybe this is the... Uh, this is the monkey forest, I think. But I'm, not, I'm gonna get to the monkey forest later, not now. So let's go to the Ubud art market first, and we will get back to the monkey forest. to the main street to get to Ubud art market this is Starbucks coffee and I don't like to go to Starbucks when I am in a, in a city such as this one I like to explore the the traditional local coffee shops but uh, I just want to show you what it looks like it looks nice to me Oh wow, what is this now? It's a nice uh, restaurant setting there. Ay, 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 ay. There is no shortage of things to, to explore and walk through and film as well. So definitely this video will be a long video. The, uh, the temple that I was trying to To walk earlier 
is actually it's actually a private uh, temple. The lady told me that I cannot go inside. It's private. And according to the sign here, it says that this is actually Obud Art Market. The one that I just walked down, that's Obud Art Market. But Google Maps says that the Art Market is actually two minutes, uh, two minute walk from here. So I'm not quite sure if uh, Google Maps is correct or not. But I will follow what Google Maps says and we will see. All right, I found the art market, but I need to cross the street safely. I don't want to get run over. So this is basically across the street from uh, Ubud Palace. And it's a building I just asked the uh, the police officer right there at the intersection that controls the traffic he told me this is actually the art market which means Google Maps is actually correct this is Ubud art market but I don't see any art galleries It doesn't look uh, interesting to me. The place that I was at earlier is actually is actually better, much better. So I guess I'm gonna find my way now to the uh, what I, I forgot the uh, yeah the monkey forests park, but. I do see a small ally, alley street here. Alley, not ally. Oh boy, I myself struggling with English. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should say narrow street, just if I am not sure what the the correct uh, vocabulary for that term. Now I see art galleries, a bunch of them. Wow, it's the uh, and the good thing about it is that everything is wa within walking um, distance from my uh, from my hotel. I was talking earlier about the withdrawing cash from the ATM machine, so I'm gonna give you a tip that you might use. It doesn't matter if you're traveling to Bali or any other place in the world but let's first navigate through this crowd a little bit when you withdraw cash from any ATM machine in the world this is what I usually do my bank app allows me to lock and unlock the card using the bank app to unlock or lock lock the card means that you block all transactions so what I do is I, I only unlock the card the minute I withdraw cash so I unlock the card and then I withdraw cash I use the card to withdraw cash as soon as I am done with my ATM transaction I immediately lock the card that means if the ETM machine uses some uh, shady techniques to clone your your card to steal your your money from your bank that technique that I use is gonna um, stop that because my card is locked all the time when I am not using my ETM card but you have to have access to the internet you need to have a data plan on your phone to do that so you use um, 
SIM card or eSIM card to have a data plan all the time to do that. So now I have a peace of mind that nobody can clone the card. Even if they do clone my card, they will not be able to use it because my card is locked. And now what is this? Let's see the name. Oh, this is actually toilet. It says toilet right there, but... Uh, this is what yes. now? Is this a what? A, a hotel? Yes. Okay, how much is uh, per room? I don't know. I don't you don't know? You don't work here? It's me and the spa. Therapist me therapist. Oh, this is your... Uh, you're only doing the spa, okay. Can I, can I go inside and take a look? Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm curious to see how much they they charge uh, per room. See, I'm only paying twenty-eight dollars for the room that uh, I showed you in the beginning, at the beginning of this uh, of this uh, video. But uh, I am curious to see if I overpaid or or I got a good deal. I'm not sure. But we will get back to the main art galleries street yeah i think the art galleries street ends here but maybe there is another beautiful street to walk through <laughs> and i can share another useful tip so i talked about the debit card how you prevent how to prevent uh, people to clone your card the other trick that uh, you might use is that avoid using any ATM machine that is outside a bank building I already mentioned that what am I walking now let's go inside that uh, small door you avoid using any ATM machine that is out, located outside the bank building, just use. Hi, not allowed to go inside. Oh, that's my house. Oh, sorry, my friend. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Apologies. Okay, now you know. When you are in Ubud, just just don't walk inside any building that looks interesting because they are private homes. It's his house, but the entrance looks so beautiful. So I only go to a bank building and go inside to use their uh, ATM machine that is located inside the building. Another trip, another tip I should say, as far as using your credit cards. Now I'm talking about credit cards, not debit cards, not ATM cards, credit cards. Avoid this taxi. Thank you, my friend. Avoid using any payment processor machine that requires you to swipe the card if you have to swipe the card run away do not swipe your card only use contactless payment method or a chip any machine only pay when the machine only uses uh, chip the chip technology or or contactless payment method or Apple Pay but if they want you to swipe if they want you to swipe the card then run away do not use that card do not use that uh, uh, payment uh, processor machine now what is this now let's see where it's gonna take me See, I am doing now random exploring, but at the same time, I am I am sharing tips that might help uh, be helpful to whoever is watching. And keep in mind, whatever I'm, tips I'm sharing apply to everywhere, even if you are if, even if you're not traveling, even if you are staying home and uh, and do the transactions in your local neighborhood. Uh, this is the the best way to. To keep your credit card and uh, debit card safe from any unauthorized uh, transactions. Oh, they use 
they sell ramen here. I really miss the uh, the Japanese ramen, but I like. Uh... Oh, thank you. I like this view right here. It's really nice, right there. So now it's time to go to the to the monkey to the monkey forest. the monkey forest will take me about 15 minute walk along this uh, street down this street and I said okay let's let's film let's hang out you know together and uh, talk about other tips while I find my way to the to the forest in the meantime, I can capture whatever interesting stuff I see along uh, along the way. Up ahead, I see a lot of foreign travelers um, walking ahead of me, but I'm trying to slow down so I can... Uh, I prefer to capture more local people in my videos as opposed to uh, as opposed to foreign travelers and uh, so let's talk about getting to bali indonesia what kind of visa you need i am traveling on a u.s passport i'm a u.s citizen so uh, they give me a visa on arrival as soon as i land at the airport in, Bal in Bali I went to a section called visa on arrival and I had to pay 31 US dollar 31 US dollar to get uh, 30 days uh, a visa a tourist uh, visa and then because I'm uh, I have a US passport they have an automated uh, automated machine gated machine to go through immigration in other words I don't have to I did not have to talk to uh, an immigration officer to open my passport and give me a stamp there is no stamp at all because everything is automated the only thing that I had to do is to uh, go to the uh, the section where they sell where they where you have to buy the uh, visa on arrival and that was a big line a big line but there is another way if you don't want to wait in line you can uh, you can apply for visa on arrival in advance online before your uh, flight but I did not do that I said okay we'll just do it at the airport when I arrive but it wasn't that bad see now that guy walked uh, this uh, way but this is off my uh, itinerary so I'm, I'm just gonna keep walking this way but the traffic noise is actually killing me I'm not quite sure if you can hear me or not and then the uh, taxi drivers from Bali airports from Bali airport I should say is uh, do your best to avoid them that's what I should uh, say do your best to avoid the taxi drivers that offer their service at the airport I have nothing against them but uh, to be on the safe side just book um, this is what I actually did book uh, a taxi driver um, in advance using Kluk uh, website Kluk K-L-O-O-K -O -O -K, I think I have no affiliation with them so then I'm not getting any commission I'm just 
I'm just sharing my experience. You will not see any referral link or anything like that. Even though they offered me, um, they asked me to, uh, long time ago, they asked me to uh, promote their service when I was in Japan. And I refused to do that. I don't like, I don't like to do any kind of uh, commission stuff. I like to keep my channel small, first of all free of any kind of uh, commercial stuff the only thing that you might see is the ads in my videos other than that you're not gonna see any referral links to the surfaces that I use the only surface that I that I promote I don't even promote it I just tell you that what what music uh, surface I use in my videos and I put that link in case somebody is interested in finding what I use in my uh, what music I use in my videos and the Amazon um, link so back to the subject book a taxi from Kluk website and you're gonna end up saving almost 50% because if you book a taxi using Gra Grab app, you're gonna end up paying double because, it's not because Grab is expensive, it's because airport, they have uh, extra charges that charge Grab company. And that's why you're gonna pay more if you book a Grab taxi from the airport. But for some reason, Kluk, uh, website does not have that issue does not charge extra for picking you up from the airport and I only paid about 16 US dollar for a two hour for a two hour ride you see 16 US dollars one six for a two hour ride which is not bad but if I had booked it from grab uh, app I would have paid about 30 US dollar or something like that and if you go with any of the taxi drivers that they offer their service there you're gonna end up paying minimum 35 to 50 US dollars and they might rip you off because you're not you're not going through uh, a company such as grab or Kluk that will monitor that will monitor the surface for you in case something goes wrong so I hope you found this tip useful I'm giving you this tip as I am trying to find my way to the monkey forest and Google Maps says that I am uh, about seven minutes seven minutes away You see, those are the ATM machines that I try my best to avoid. I never ever, I never ever use those kind of ATM machines that are not connected to a bank building right there. You see what I'm talking about? I never trust those ATM machi machines. Doesn't matter in Bali or any place in the world, in including the US. Because you don't know who regulate uh, those uh, machines and who monitor them and who installed them. I have no idea. But the bank that I used to withdraw cash from, uh, from Bali yesterday. Here we go. This is a, uh, this kind of chaotic here, right here. Just, just, uh, just bear with me, be, be patient, because it's a lot of things going on, traffic-wise. Here is the tra monkey forest. It shows, I uh, go this way. But I'm gonna capture the, at least the name right here. Monkey forest Ubud, this way. The bank that I used to withdraw cash in Bali using my, uh, 
my debit card, the American debit card, is called May Bank. M A Y Bank. And how did I find out about that bank? Because I did a simple search on Reddit, subreddit forum, to see what my fellow US travelers do when they want to withdraw cash from uh, from uh, Bali and they did recommend May Bank to go to the actual bank and use their ATM machine inside the building and this is exactly what I did see you need to do a simple preparation before you visit any country and this is one of the uh, the things that I uh, that I prepare for every time I visit a new country. How to get to the city from the airport, what kind of visa I need to enter the country, if I am using a US passport, and where to withdraw cash, what bank I should use, and if there is any scam that I need to be aware of, if there is any tips that I need to be aware of all that kind of stuff I can find it from reddit sub forum reddit sub what they call it reddit forum I should say and a lot of people sh share their experience and they're useful okay where is now the uh, monkey forest Right. Monkey Forest entrance right there. Go this way. Look at this security guy. What he's wearing. Monkey Forest this way, sir. Okay, thank you. Alright. My camera gave up on me because it got so hot. And uh, and it shut down. So I had to wait until it cools down in this and also took a break to drink water and eat some snacks and all that kind of stuff. You see this is one of the must visit sites here in Ubud. I usually try to avoid um, touristy uh, places but sometimes you gotta do it hello you gotta do it because if the place is very uh, uh, very nice to visit why not but I just try to time it properly because I don't want to come when the uh, big tour buses arrive because that's what ruins the experience when so many tour buses arrive at the same time so i have to buy a ticket here and we will continue the the unofficial tour of ubud Right, welcome to the monkey forest. if the monkeys are aggressive or not wow look at that so, so cute and what is this now a tunnel very dark oh boy
The whole forest is considered a sacred place and it has uh, three temples inside the the village. It's actually a village. It's not only a monkey zoo. A monkey forest, I should say, not zoo. Indeed, a forest, beautiful forest. And this is what a break area right here. They offer a digital map at the entrance, but I did not uh, bother to take one. This is one of the uh, temples inside the monkey forest uh, right here but this is only open for prayer but let's capture some some footage it's a really beautiful place uh, to walk through and it looks like it's huge but I try to stay away from the uh, crowded area and I found this spot but now back to the busy area right here but this is a seems to be a big uh, pavilion right there and this is the main uh, the main entrance wow look at that All right, let's give the people the opportunity to uh, shoot their picture. I'm quite sure I sneak through a bunch of uh, people pictures, but there is no way to avoid that when you are in a, such a crowded area such as this one. You walk away from the the crowd and this is uh, now look at that nobody seems to enter this area but there is no shortage of good photo opportunities right here without the crowd I guess but there is some kind of uh, traditional ceremony right there I'm not quite sure what that is maybe a wedding I have no idea. 
see that area is not open to the public not open to the tourists so uh, but uh, the, this path is definitely open and uh, and let's see what I, I'm gonna see if I keep walking pretty much takes me to nowhere back to the main section but it's good to to get a break from the from the crowd anyway and they have no shortage of public toilets inside this place guidelines okay do not look the monkey in the eyes do not bring any kind of plastic paper bag okay do not ever touch grab or disturb the monkeys and it's prohibited to feed the monkeys okay good to know all right there is some kind of a small market right there we will go check it out This is uh, an amph amphitheater, I think. They perform some kind of events at some on some days. I think they have the schedule up there, but I did not read it in details. Wow, it's really beautiful. Such a beautiful area. This probably is gonna take the whole day almost uh, if you want to capture the whole thing is he taking a nap oh okay he's She's feeding her baby. Well, 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 it's really overwhelming at first when dealing with this traffic, the motorbike, the motorbike's uh, noise all over the place. It's kind of uh, annoying at first, but you get used to it. This seems to be a little bit uh, famous. Uh, cafe called little talks right there and I am on my way to to a place called Kumpu Han Ridge Wap I was supposed to end the video right after the monkey for um, forest but I still have energy to do one more destination and that is the uh, a beautiful 
afternoon walk after that beautiful meal lunch meal that i got and basically that walk is through beautiful farms and i'm quite sure i'm gonna enjoy the uh, the the scenery because i was impressed when i saw the uh, the photos on google and it's about 10 minute walk from the uh, from the monkey forest so we will go and uh, check it out Nikki hid hidden cottages oh boy what did I find along the way see this is not the uh, the place that I want to go to but I saw it along the way and I said okay let's let's check it out it seems to be a little bit interesting I wonder what kind of cottages uh, they have there okay the place called Nick's Hidden and this seems to be apartment complex right there what a beautiful city to explore I hope this is not a private uh, home and here is the cottages right there but I would not actually stay here because it's kind of uh, outside the uh, the the city center it's a little bit far and just want to see how much how much per night for the cottage yes huh Price is 800. 800,000 per night? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're Do you have breakfast included? Yes. It in includes breakfast. Okay, thank you. All right, you heard him. Uh, 800,000 rupiah. Uh, th that probably about uh, 50, from 45 US dollars to 50 US dollars per night which seems to be a little bit above average in Ubud like the hotel that you saw I'm staying that is 28 US dollars but my hotel does not include um, does not include uh, breakfast but even if I pay for breakfast it's only four dollars four US dollars for breakfast it's not a big deal so let's go now find that uh, walking trail that I am looking for see earlier I mentioned the name of the bank May Bank this is the ATM of the bank that I prefer but I'm not gonna use it even though even though it's from a re reputable bank I'm not gonna use it because this ATM is not connected to the actual bank building it's a uh, it's a separate uh, ATM that is not uh, connected to uh, to the actual bank building and that's the actual uh, that's the things that I try my best to avoid I try my best to avoid using ATMs that look like that even if if they are from uh, a famous bank a good bank because I don't trust the uh, security system that they have let's uh, get away from this uh, bus like the bank that I went to the actual bank that I went to May Bank building yesterday there is a security guy standing outside standing outside the bank building um, also makes me uh, feel safe to uh, to use that ATM machine because there is a security guy that works for the bank and they have security cameras everywhere monitoring the whole area because you know because as I said it's a bank and bank has more monitoring better monitoring system cameras 24 hours and everything so the bad guys do not cannot abuse the uh, the system they cannot install shady stuff um, in the ATM machines 
and also uh, the ATMs at the airport are more secured because the the airports are you know they have uh, monitoring cameras everywhere so the bad guys cannot mess up with the uh, the airport ATMs so I do recommend that you use the airport ATMs but make sure you use an ATM that belongs to a good bank even though if the ATM machine is not connected to the actual bank building but at least it's inside the uh, the airport and you really know every single airport in this world has a very good security system doesn't matter what country you are in but almost all airports because they are required by an international law because if they if they can if they uh, don't meet the standard international requirements no international flight will be allowed to fly into that airport so every country does its best to meet the uh, security requirements of the international law so that they can uh, uh, more international flights fly into and out of the specific airport just keep that in mind and now I uh, found my way to another section of uh, Ubud and I'm not that far from the uh, the walking the hiking trail that I'm looking for the trailhead it starts from here but that's the name of the place that I would like to uh, to walk and end the video there I guess and look at that beautiful car that I just I missed it it's a beautiful car going to a resort some kind of a resort right there how much two uh, two Okay. okay thank you I'll, I'll, on my way back I'll stop by yes I will, on my way back look at that it's a abandoned uh, building but the gentleman the security guy that I asked said that it's gonna take me about 40 minutes to walk through the farms but so far I don't see farms I see I see beautiful temples and uh, waterfalls oh yeah 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 look at that so beautiful now out of the sudden I am in the middle of uh, a big forest forest Wow. Look at that pagoda. Is that a pagoda? I've seen a lot of them in Japan. But I'm not quite sure if it looks like a pagoda. Maybe that is something different. But I need to make sure that I am actually using the the right trail. Wow, this is such a wonderful hiking opportunity right there. See Chat GPT app recommended this place by the way. When I uh, typed what places I should visit today that starts from my hotel and this one pops up as the last destination and it says that I should visit it after the monkey uh, forest there's some kind of annoying noise here I'm not sure what that is
very beautiful scenery right there and it's, it's such a long trail that goes all the way and I'm quite sure I'm gonna see more beautiful views up ahead see the hike takes me to this uh, place that I'm not sure what it is maybe it's a temple but it looks nice to me it's, it's, it says Salamat the tank maybe the hike ends here I guess probably tomorrow I will visit a very nice uh, rice terrace and also a waterfall a beautiful waterfall and a beautiful temple that are located a little bit outside Ubud and, re and it they all require a car so I'm gonna take a taxi to get to those uh, destinations but we'll be on another day not definitely not today see Ubud is famous for art galleries is the is the cultural center of uh, of Bali and this place seems to be very nice to me but they don't allow you to uh, to go inside we will continue our adventure and then we I might wrap up the video there this is nice here it's a cafeteria I think wow look at that maybe I should grab coffee here and sit down and enjoy this uh, view right there it's nice but I think the the trail continues this way so I'm pretty sure I will see more interesting stuff let's continue the journey and this is another one right there you know so far I can uh, I can tell that uh, I can get more bang for my buck so to speak because uh, things here are very cheap even the uh, even the touristy areas are are not that expensive I can get uh, a very nice meal at a nice restaurant with a beautiful setting and with the nice view and all that kind of stuff and I end up paying 10 US dollars which is uh, really really nice so if you are using uh, US dollars if you're traveling from the US and you happen to to work uh, in uh, Western Europe or in uh, North America where the salaries are, are a little bit high and your home currency is uh, stable and strong then uh, if you, when you visit these countries such as Indonesia Thailand and uh, and even even Japan even South Korea you will uh, definitely enjoy enjoy it more not because the countries are spectacular is it because you tend to uh, to enjoy the stuff more because it doesn't break your wallet so to speak it doesn't break your bank because things are cheap here you you stay in a nice hotel 
you get nice meals and without worrying about spending too much money but if you travel to expensive countries I have been to expensive countries many many expensive countries such as Iceland Greenland United Kingdom Canada you name it what else Greenland Denmark Germany Switzerland those countries are very expensive very very expensive but if you think about it what do they offer what kind of things that they offer that you cannot see in Indonesia do they offer nature you can see beautiful nature here do they offer good infrastructure such as uh, roads trains Wi-Fi internet or all that kind of stuff nice hotels you will see them in Thailand and Indonesia too what else do they offer those uh, expensive countries I mean look at this look at this uh, nature you know I'm talking to you as a person who visited both the expensive countries and the cheap countries I'm talking based on my experience you will enjoy the cheap countries more because you see nature beautiful nature and also the people are very nice too especially if you are the uh, a person of color such as me I consider myself a person of color I'm not a white person you know when you go to these countries um, Indonesia is one of them you uh, you get better a little bit better treatment than if you go to uh, Western Europe if you're not a white person so I'm talking to you now based on my experience so come visit these countries consider it before you spend your money on a trip to Switzerland consider Indonesia Bali you know or consider what what else Thailand but do not come during the uh, the rainy season avoid the rainy season any country you visit just google it and type when is the rainy reason in Indonesia if it says in December don't come in December come during the dry season so you can enjoy you can enjoy uh, this beautiful uh, scenery without worrying about getting wet from the from the rain I was in uh, na Jeju Island in South Korea and I visited it during heavy rainy rain season rainy season and it was horrible I wasted almost three days staying at the hotel waiting for the rainstorm to stop so I learned my lesson I will never visit any place during rain uh, season and then after you visit these you know cheap countries beautiful countries then consider going to Iceland you know going to Switzerland Greenland you can watch my videos I've been I've been there I've been almost to every single country in Western Europe I did not uh, film all of them because I started YouTube uh, recently not long ago and I did not film my old previous uh, videos you know when I, when I hold the camera everybody wants to say hello and wants to be on camera but I try my best to to avoid getting people on camera so enough of talking I think the trail ends here and uh, and what I will visit a beautiful another beautiful uh, waterfall and temple and uh, rice uh, rice terrace this week oh. hey. Woo. 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 Woo.